Not just Ron Rogers, but Ron Rogers and the Wailing Wind. Yeah. Where'd that come from? My friend Don Fisher, who's also a Texan, uh, he wrote a song called The Wailing Wind. Mm -hmm. And so when I was thinking about getting this band together, I thought, that sounds good. Ron Rogers and the Wailing Wind. I got his blessing. And that was it. That's a good name for a band. Yeah. 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 And uh, what's the genesis? How did this thing get started? I uh, met Don Campbell when I first came to town in 05, and we talked about getting a band together, and he's a renowned bassist and uh, journalist and lived in this town all his life. Has written for Oregon Music News? Has. And uh, so anyway, we, we finally, I mean, it took us years to get around to it, but we finally uh, got together, and he said, um, what would you think about getting a steel guitar player? Uh. And I had played with steel guitar players in pickup bands, but I'd never had one permanently in a band. So I said, that's a great idea. So uh -huh. we got Dave Graff. What, 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 what attracted you to, to that? To having a steel? Yeah. Um, I think because I'd never, I'd never played with a steel guitar before. Mm -hmm. And also, it's like playing with another guitar player, but it's not like playing with another guitar player because mm -hmm. they're... You know, the yeah. six string and, and the steel are totally different things, but mm -hmm. it's still a guitar sound. It's almost like playing with an organ. But uh, so that attracted me. And uh, the first time we got together, just the three of us, it just like I started playing some of my songs and it just worked. And then we got Chris. Chris, I played with in a band before and he just lives like three doors down. And that was kind of it. And we just started getting together and worked up some songs and. Started playing a happy hour over at the Hawthorne Theater Lounge that we built into, you know, a thing. And uh, at some point, we moved to the Landmark Saloon. We do a first, the first Friday of every month from 6 to 8, happy hour, no cover charge. And that's kind of how we built our following. Is what you're playing now, is that, does that come from your Texas roots? What's that? The music that you're playing now. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I think so. I mean, I'm I've always been uh I'm more I'm, I'm kind of a rock and roller, but I've always, you know, in Texas we played roadhouse music, you know, basically mm -hmm. you play a roadhouse and you play country blues and rock and roll. And it just kind of gets all mixed together. So that's what that's what this is. Mm -hmm. Um and it's just it's a great vehicle for me to write songs because I I like I like songwriters. I'm a big, you know, big fan of, you know, James McMurtry and Ray Wiley Hubbard and, uh, oh, you know, Mark Knopfler. I mean, there are, there are people who, you know, I listen to a lot, you know, to, uh, that inspires me. Chuck Prophet's another one I seem to listen to a lot. Of course, I'm a big Dylan fan and the, yeah. the whole 60s thing. Yeah. So, so some of your songs uh, get, 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 can get a little political. Yeah, I'm definitely, I definitely have some things to say. <laughs> but you know, I don't. I don't try to like preach, uh -huh. but I do. I do try to touch on things that you know. I mean, I'm, obviously, any of us are concerned with the economy and the and what's going on with the working class people, and so I I hit on that. And um, some of my songs are about you know, like my baseball song "Go Down Swinging" can also be interpreted as you know. Give it your best shot, and uh -huh. you know, don't give up. Yeah. Um, are you still doing your art? I just I do some art from time to time, but I'm just not as into it as I was when I first moved here. When you first met me, yeah. Um, I think it takes a lot more time for me to do uh -huh. art than to do music, um, and also art's something I do by myself. Yeah. Whereas when you have a band, it, it's it's like a party, yeah. and so it's it's not as uh, it's not all on your shoulders. Uh -huh. But mostly, it's just having time to do it, and, and I'm I'm more easily inspired by things that would make me write a song than by things that would make me do a, mm -hmm. a painting or a, mm -hmm. a a three D piece or whatever. Mm -hmm. What about this album? Um, this this is uh, the second album, right? Yeah. yeah. And how's it different from the first? Well, this one is with is completely done with the Wailing Wind, 
Mm -hmm. And the country in Eastern, which was out about two years ago, half of it was the whaling wind and half of it were other people that I had worked with in LA and some people up here. So but this is this this effort is with the with the band from beginning to finish. Hmm. So that's one of the things that makes it different and it's uh I think it's a little more cohesive that way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Where'd you do it? In my basement. Did you? Yeah. Yeah. But you never have to leave home. No, I never do. It's, just, it's easy that way, and it's a lot cheaper. There's nobody, nobody's watching the clock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, we did. I just, I just turned the basement into a studio, and I've got a 16 track analog machine down there, and so it's, it's an analog recording. Really? Wow. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. Why did you do it that way? I, I just like the way analog sounds. Uh -huh. I just, uh, I'm, I've, I. I learned on analog and I just you know I work in the digital domain but I don't know there's something about tape I just like tape and vinyl yeah yeah too bad well maybe, maybe one day you, you can put out a record a record I have put record. out records before I know uh, but yeah that would <laughs> that 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 might be a good thing to do maybe yeah on the next one yeah 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 you know stolen sweets put out 78 oh, wow. <laughs> which no one can play <laughs> so, looking at this record, if we wanted to let, uh, if we want to let the people preview one tune here, what what uh, what tune would that be? Oh wow! This one. Um, let me let me take look. a look. Let me look at that. Take a look. I know it's tough. Yeah, it is. Uh, well, I think the tune. Um, is there going to be a video? There is going to be a video of a song called Haywire, mm -hmm. and there's also going to be a video of the title, or the first song on the track, Hard Working Hands. Uh -huh. Hard Working Hands might be the thing to, uh -huh. you know, for people to listen to and get an idea of what, you know, where we're coming from. What's that song about? It's just about, you know, hard work, people that work hard and the things that they're up against, like, you know, trying to buy a home and feeding the kids. And, uh, you know, and being just a hard-working man, you know, nothing special, just out there doing it every day. All right. Well, that will appear just below this screen. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot. Okay. Thanks, Tom, for coming by.